Hello. This is a concept for a, I don't know if it's mana generating, but it's definitely a crop farm with only Batania. So here we have some carrots. Um, we can load more carrots in my system by just dropping them there. Some hopper hawks underneath. Um, there's some mana over here, which I'll show you later, but the important part is this. Ta-da! I'll pick up those carrots too. So, here's how it works. I have a clear example way over here. It is tileable except for the first one. I guess you could put this in the middle. You could make it up to 31 wide if you put this in the middle. Basically just a pull, six, um, a pull shortener that goes into some sticky pistons which move up and down. This is way easier than other forms of breaking the crops, just shaking them off like that. In Batania, um, dispensers can place crops as well. So, <laughs> so it basically just triggers some dispensers. These are corporea funnels which are um, these refill the dispensers, so the bulk of the carrots is kept underground in some hopper hawks. Well, in the chest where the hopper hawks pick them up, and the corporate funnels put them in the dispensers. So, ta da! Quite simple. Um, back over here. Underneath, actually, up here, I just have an hourglass with another corporate funnel. Um, yeah, and it picks up some carrots once every five seconds and sends them into the Gormalaeus. This then powers some uh, agricarnation. So you could use this to speed up the process a little bit. Here are the uh, upper hawks, and importantly, I have appropriate sparks of your chests so that these things, you can't see their sparks because they're inside the box. And it acts. So, yeah. Um, this is 13 wide. You can make it, again, 31 wide if you put this part in the middle. So just take an input from that wall. It's probably a good idea to be used a hovering hourglass. It's like two minutes or something. Um, if you're not using any agrocarnations, you need to set it for a lot longer. But two minutes seems good if you have that set up. Agrocarnations. And it uses a lot of red sun dust, so it might be a little bit lag. But... This is definitely fun to set up. <laughs> and it seems like even with all of these aggro conditions running, I can still turn a profit on mana. This hasn't been running for very long, and you can see there's already a couple pixels filled in that mana, that mana pool right there. So, if you scale this up a lot, maybe this could be a sizable, a uh, reasonable way to get a whole bunch of mana for your base, and a lot of carrots. If you uh, <laughs> if you run this thing often enough, you might also want to use dispensers with bone meal or something. You could actually turn a profit on carrots, so forget farming food. <laughs> but yeah, that is obtaining a crop farm. Nothing too special.